Hey everybody, on today's video we're going to do an unboxing of the EcoFlow Delta Pro. something that I backed on Kickstarter. I believe this is their largest battery to date. And this one also will work with their smart generator to recharge it during power outages, which I also got. Um, so it's basically just this box with the super hard foam on top. Here's a little box of goodies that comes with it. We've got our charging cable for if you want to hook it up to solar panels. We've got the charging cable for a cigarette lighter in a car to charge it that way. We've got, which one was this? I think this is the, you can plug a uh, electric car charger into it and plug it that way so if you're without power for a longer period of time um, you can run it that way as well. Not 100% sure what that's for. I'll have to check the manual. You get a manual and then you get a regular wall plug. Part of the reason I'm doing this on the floor is because this thing weighs about 100 pounds if I remember correctly. It's heavy. And it's gigantic. And now it has wheels. Yeah, it has wheels. Get yeah, you. No, we're making a video over here. Yeah. Oh yeah. It has uh, additional expandable batteries that you can get that will plug into the back that will extend the capacity of it. Um, you can also, once I have the smart generator, I'll do a video on that, but I believe the smart generator also plugs into the back. Um, solar panel in, uh, charging speed switch, and your regular wall plug outlet to charge it that way. On the front here, there's no power. Oh, no, 30%. Uh, you've got two USB-A's, two USB-A fast charger, two USB-C's, your four 20 volt uh, regular plugs, and then the one thing that makes this very different than the rest of them is you also have a RV plug uh, here on the front so you could run something like an RV off of it. You also have a pretty decent size carrying handle which will be very nice because this they're not carrying handle but handle the bullet around which which would be very nice um, because of how heavy this thing is so this here is where you would plug in what they call the infinity battery um, I believe that is their way of hooking it into like a home uh, panel that they also sell separately from this um, and then here you have, looks like that was also a, that little connector was a charger. Um, but they've got a, like an ethernet type jack for their controller. It's like a, a standby mode maybe. I'll have to look that up as well. Um, these doors aren't super sturdy, so I'd be careful with those. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll get this thing paired. Uh, this does run off of a app. Um, you can also obviously just read it and see what's going on. So let's go ahead and set this up with the app. Uh, as you can see, it's got the little Bluetooth symbol here, so we can do it through Bluetooth, which is great. 
um, because a lot of times when you'd be using this, your internet could be down. If you don't have power, uh, a lot of the times your internet provider will also be out. Um, and even if you do have a backup generator at your house, you won't always have power or you won't always have internet if all of their devices aren't on backup power as well. So I opened up the app. It said it automatically found it without me even doing anything. So there's a new device in your area. Would you like to add it? I clicked on yes. I asked it to update the firmware. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. I'm also going to uh, put in our network settings. There's the uh, IOT reset button here on the side. It says to push and hold that for, I believe, it says push and hold that. So we'll do that real quick. It says to push and hold it until the Wi-Fi icon on the screen starts to flash. All right, beeped, and now we have our Wi-Fi icon flashing. It says, is the icon flashing? You click the little OK tab. Once you do that, it takes you to your network settings. You pick, pick the EcoFlow. It shows up as your um, device. You click on that. You go back to the app. And then you can see here it's asking for, it says the current version we have is 0 0.33 and the latest version is 0 0.36 and you can see down here at the bottom it is updating we've got a little progress bar there so we'll wait for that to finish and we're just about done 9900 it says your firmware is up to date all right so we updated our firmware we went back a screen and then the device is here click on the device you can see we've got basically all the same uh numbers that we have here on the screen plus a couple extra we've got uh what temperature the batteries are at uh we've got a percentage we've got our output um see what uh ports are being used down here as far as the usb ones go uh, you can turn it on and off here with the app um, you can see your input your output um if you go into input it also looks like it will tell you uh, which plug or uh, how the output is being put in. Uh, it looks like you can hook it up to the internet if you want to. Uh, I'm not going to do that now. And let's see what we've got here under settings. They so go into settings. You've got you can turn on and off your beep. You can change your AC fast charging. Um, charging it at a slower speed does also help extend your battery life, uh, along with never charging it above 80% and never letting it go below 20%. Uh, obviously, if you're in an emergency power up position, um, it is completely okay to do that. It will just uh, degradate your batteries faster. It is uh, good up to 3,500. Uh, cycles up to 80% after that time period. Uh, it doesn't just stop working, but the uh, degradation in the battery will start kind of, um, you won't be able to fill them up quite as much and you'll start noticing um, less and less charge after that point. Um, they say you can uh, have a full charge after one year of it sitting on the shelf, which is pretty good. Um, I also believe it has a one-year warranty. So uh, here you also have the uh, smart generator, um, which obviously we don't have yet. Uh, that'll be coming shortly. But you can have it where it kicks on and off. So what we'll probably do here is have it kick on at, say, 30% and then off at 80 so we don't exceed that. Uh, 80%, you've got, let's see, unit timeout. Uh, I'm assuming that's like it'll shut off, but I'm not sure. I'll have to look into that a little bit. AC timeout, uh, I th again, I don't know exactly what that is. You've got firmware here. Um, screen timeout, five minutes. I'm gonna flip that to never, because I actually like the screen being on. Um, I have one of their, I believe it's the Delta unit that is a non-app connected unit or anything like that. Um, and the screen always shuts off. It's, I always like to be able to just look over at a client and see 
uh, if we need to hook up a generator to it or if it's going to go dead soon um, without having to actually physically walk over and push the button. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Here are all the specifications. Uh, I said it was 90 pounds. It's 99 pounds. Uh, there's that 3,500 cycles that it was talking about. Uh, charging temp inputs. Here are the different inputs you have for it and outputs. Um, so there's all of your... That one plug that I wasn't sure what about is a DC outlet. Um, obviously here there's no uh, extra battery connected, but if you did have one, um, that is a extra 80 pounds, 84 pounds. Um, that is the same capacity, the same number of cycles. If you have them hooked together, they'll uh, degrade about the same. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. If you guys want to see us try anything else with this, uh, how long it'll run our refrigerator, will it run our air fryer, how many watts can we pull out of it, things like that, uh, leave that in the comments down below, and we will try to make a video out of it as soon as we can. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.